Hello guys, Jim from the PA Woodsman's channel. Wanted to uh, do a short thank you video and shout out to, uh, well first off I'll just a story here. A couple, about two weeks ago I was out on the Red Bank doing a short video on the uh, Bushman Big Breeze 2.0 stove and doing a little looking around talking bush craft and such and I mentioned we didn't have any uh, flint or even uh, Oh. hate when I have these moments guys uh, quartz around here to try to do flint or quartz uh, to steel for fire well I got a PM from another YouTuber friend and he said hey give me your address I want to send you a letter well surprisingly enough I received a package last this Thursday from Tom over at uh, real life survival school he said him and his class picked me and wanted to send me a little token. And my little token is my very own flint and steel kit. Nice big piece of uh, flint. Got some steel. Uh, have some hemp. And underneath the uh, paper here protecting it is my uh, char cloth that they included. Now I could use this tin for making new char cloth if I wanted to. What I think I'm going to do is just get myself another tin just for putting in the fire. This is too nice of a tin to just, you know, get all destroyed looking. So what we're going to do for the very first time is try to get a fire started with a flint and steel. In order to do that I need to Put the camera back to where we were. Let's try to even bring it in here. Apologize, guys. Hopefully, my battery doesn't go dead in the meantime either. So, this is the first time I've ever done this, other than I did make a dark toilet piece char cloth when I got it just to see if I could get a glow. I was able to do that. So. So I'm going to take me a small piece of char cloth. I already have myself a uh, bird's nest of dry grasses sitting there. Find my stone here. Now, with Tom's instruction on this, I'm wanting to make sure I take the whole steel across it in order to get uh, the the sparks. So these fibers a little more it is still a little damp out this morning I don't want to say damp but we got some frost so this might not be perfectly dry so but, mm, we'll try her again now the hemp the purpose of the hemp is order to transfer that coal a little longer around but since I do have my bird's nest, I'm gonna not worry about it.
apologize. This is not an easily done process. I tell you that right now. anything in life you don't get it done until you practice nice one don't make sure my battery's still good some of this dry hemp. I'm going to add that to here just to give it an extra chance. This stuff might not even be dry enough. I'm going to try one last time, guys. lighter here and I'm gonna even see if that's even dry. Enough. That might be my problem this morning.
that's what it is guys it's just not dry enough so I'll have to take that in consideration uh, maybe I could break up the fibers even Real quick, guys, you can see it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Uh, I just think the material is just not dry enough. What we're going to do is take it home with me and uh, let it dry out some more and then maybe try to break up the fibers a little better and try it again. So, But for now, once again, Tom and uh, real, the, uh, excuse me here, real life survival school group. I want to thank you once again for sending me such a great uh, gift, and I will be practicing with this thing and getting it to work. So, all right, thank you as always for watching the PA Woodsman, and most of all, God bless.